Good afternoon everyone and welcome to our first module which is all about the conceptual framework of uh, mathematics education. So this is under the subject principles and strategies in teaching mathematics and I am Frankie Afran, your course instructor from Romblon State University College of Education. So let's proceed to our first lesson in this module which is all about the mathematical empowerment critical and analytical thinking as the goal of philippine mathematics education so in general perspective of course at the current time it is uh, evident that the philippines is considered as one of those who are struggling when it comes to critical and analytical thinking though we are performing high in some mathematics competitions uh, in the international aptitude test such as PISA and TEAMS, uh, it was shown that we belong to those who are low performing when it comes to mathematical literacy or in terms of numeracy. So that's why the Department of Education and in collaboration with other academic institutions conceptualized uh, together with the DOST and MATHED conceptualize the development of the mathematics framework as well as the different uh, guides for us to improve and enhance our level of problem solving and critical thinking in the Philippines. So what is shown here is the mathematical empowerment framework uh, from the DOST, SEI, and Mathed Incorporated showing uh, what is expected for a Filipino learner to be able to become mathematically empowered, of course, considerations are made when it comes to mathematical content, cognitive values, and cognitive demand. So it is uh, foreseen that this would help our future, our learners, our Filipino learners, to develop and to become uh, analytical and critical thinkers. So of course, this is. Um, through the contributions of the, the development of other skills or other essential skills, which includes a mathematical connection, problem solving, a mathematical reasoning, a mathematical communication. So in order for us to be mathematically empowered, in order for our learners, the Filipino learners, to become mathematically empowered, these things need to be considered. So in this lesson, we're going to have some specific lectures and discussions on these um, matters. So as what had been presented in our framework, so one of the major considerations there is the critical and analytical thinking skills of our learners. So there are uh, four uh, skills or, or encompassing skills that needs to be highlighted in this section in order to develop critical and analytical thinking skills the following skills needs to be or need to be considered also the first one is the problem solving so in mathematics context of course from time to time we are always using the term problem solving so this is the ability to recognize that there's uh, an existing problem it's not just also about recognizing the problem but ident identifying defining the problem as well as the students uh, when students become uh, critical thinkers or analytical uh, thinkers they do propose some solutions they do propose uh, some uh, options on how to solve that particular problem so one of the skills that need to be developed in a Filipino learner to become a critical and analytical thinker is the ability to solve problems. The next one is to communicate uh, mathematically. So of course, uh, just like uh, in language, uh, we do have this way of communication. So in mathematics, we have our own uh, way of communicating uh, content and other matters related to math so there's a specific symbol to be used a special vocabulary that is used in discussing and explaining mathematical content so these uh, symbols and notations help um, 
will help our students to communicate their ideas using these notations, these uh, mathematical uh, presentations. These things are used in constructing ideas at the same time in presenting their uh, proofs and other related matters. So to be able to become a critical thinker, one must become a uh, mathematically proficient when it comes to communicating their ideas uh, or in communicating uh, the different discussions or content related to uh, the lesson or the concept that they are explaining of course it is to be presented in mathematical way the other one is the skill of reasoning uh, which includes the deductive and inductive reason, uh, inductive and deductive reasonings. So in this way, uh, the Filipino learners are expected to have that kind of skill that able to argue, to analyze, to critique processes, to show the process of learning by explaining it in a way that is understandable by their classmates as well as their the students who are low performing in mathematics. So that skill is very important for that for a learner in order for them to explain and to reason out the skills, to reason out the different uh, concepts, to, to reason out on how did they derive to that particular solution or problem, or of the problem. And of course, uh, we have the math, ma uh, making mathematical connections. Of course, as a mathematical learner, in order for them to be a critical thinker, it's very important to consider the ability to make mathematical connections. So in order for a person or a Filipino learner to communicate and to connect um, to the real world scenario, of course, one must be equipped and capable of doing things critically by using variety of representation, which includes symbols, what, what had been discussed a while ago, a while ago in uh, communicating mathematically and of course by using various notations, symbols, uh, numerical representation, algebraic representations so this would, would help them apply uh, this uh, learning content uh, this learning content must be applied and connected to the real world and that is one of the skills that needs to be um, evident in a Filipino learner in order to consider him or her as a critical or analytical thinker. The next one is the mathematical content. So in mathematical content, these are the different uh, mathematical content that was considered in the development of the mathematics framework. So uh, actually, this is almost synonymous in the K-12 uh, uh, basis since uh, the K-12 framework is based also on this uh, proposal of identification of the different uh, mathematical content. So these are the results of the analysis made by the OST, SEI, and Method in the 1995, 1999, and 2003 teams studies. So they have derived to the development and breaking down of the topics of the lessons by this uh, mathematical content uh, framework so this guided them in separating those learning content also we have these uh, cognitive demands so when we say uh, cognitive demands uh, it is what is expected from those learners for from those Filipino learners so they are expected to have these uh, um, skills and of course uh, they need to have these skills in order for them to be improved and to be mathematically empowered so the first one is visualizing of course as a mathematics learner and to become a very uh, critical thinker you need to have the power to visualize things especially in problem solving you need to have that power of visualization so it involves uh, your creativity and imagination to project the lessons to project the problem to visualize the problems uh, in order to connect it in 
problem solving to connect it in uh, understanding what is asked or the need in that particular problem. The next one is the skill of knowing that uh, means to understand the various concepts, the mathematical concepts, as well as uh, the, the memorization and recalling of facts and procedures. But of course, in mathematics, it's not just about recalling or memorizing those procedures, but understanding those procedures or basic concepts in order for you to solve a higher level mathematical procedure. The next one is computing. So of course, this is the ability to estimate, to compute, and to calculate, uh, to be able to derive to a particular final result or answer or solution. The next one is the cognitive demand on solving. Of course, uh, it is very evident for mathematics learners to have the ability of solving. This is coming from understanding of the basic problems at the same time, uh, understanding of the need, uh, the basic givens of the problem, what are the needed uh, data. So in order to proceed to solving, of course, these areas needs to be considered. And the last one is applying. So also we have the cognitive demand of applying. So this refers to the ability to justify, to verify, and to produce proofs in that particular solution that they have given. So based on the hypothesis or based on their specific conjectures, there should be proofs to this. And these are one of the things to be considered in uh, the cognitive demands. The last one is all about the cognitive values. So to become mathematically empowered, it's not just about the mathematical content. It's not just about numbers and number sense. It's not about the cognitive demands. It's not just about visualizing, knowing, and all. But of course, you have to have this uh, cognitive values. And cognitive values uh, is uh, about dealing with the values to be incorporated uh, as a mathematical thinker. To become a critical and analytical thinker, uh, it's not just about the cognitive component, the, va uh, the demand, it's not just about the content, but of course, we need to consider also the values. So what are these values that needs to be taught and improved and enhanced for our Filipino learners? The first one is the objectivity. Since this is mathematic, math mathematics, mathematics is known to be objective. This stands for the de uh, development of precision and accuracy, and as well as to be able to relate mathematics to one's personal aspirations. So we have the goals of achieving things or as achieving the solution to our particular problem. And also as a mathematics learner, they should be uh, to be a critical thinker, uh, the flexibility and creativity should also be evident. That is um, presenting solutions or understanding the problem in various ways, presenting solutions and proofs in various ways. So, and then looking into the best or the most uh, appropriate solution or the most efficient solution. The next one is utility. Uh, that is involves the the process of recognizing the practicality and usefulness of mathematics in the world. Of course, for example, in the COVID-19 pandemic right now, we have seen that mathematics can be applied in projecting the possible number of COVID-19 cases in a year, in a month, and as well as those, uh, also the mathematical presentations and utility of the concepts of mathematics in applying in the precision when it comes to the number of cases after five days, after three days. So those are just uh, some of the examples of the application of uh, the inclusion of cognitive values in mathematics education. Next is uh, cultural rootedness. Uh, in understanding and to become a critical thinker, one must be able to relate mathematical content to the culture. Uh, that's why we have ethnomathematics. So this is the way of connecting mathematics to the cultural perspective of, for us, for example, uh, for Filipinos. So you can see some of the mathematical studies or research studies involve the application of mathematics to patterns, weaving, 
as well as other cultural based approaches and applications of mathematic, uh, mathematics education. And of course, the value of applying those uh, skills, uh, those content, those, th those cognitive demands, uh, to be able to become a critical thinker, you need to be able to apply and explain through mathematical ways, through mathematical symbols to apply this verbally and non-verbally that is the skill uh, that needs to be incorporated also as a cognitive values because by that by explaining you are will you are able to s uh, reason out and to produce some rational explanations regarding the content that you are explaining and the last one is the productive disposition this includes the ability to look beyond the challenge that mathematics poses and to view it as something that is fun that in order for you to become uh, productive of course uh, let us incorporate to our learners that mathematics can also be fun so those are the important key points that we need to consider in understanding the goal of mathematics which is the critical thinking and uh, analytical thinking to be able to to become a mathematically empowered learner and to become a very productive and uh, mathematically empowered learner of the future. So thank you very much for listening in this discussion and have a great day.